Hello guys, welcome to Love is Vacation YouTube's channel. Now I wanna give you information about 5 best places to visit in Massachusetts. Number 5 Lexington. Northwest of Boston is Lexington, where the first shots in the War of Independence took place on April 19, 1775. A Minuteman statue by sculptor Henry Hudson Kitson and a monument marked Battle Green where colonial militia members, called the Minutemen for their ability to get ready for battle in a minute's notice, clashed with British troops. Number 4 Concord Although Concord was of major importance in the struggle for independence, it was here that the shot heard round the world was fired at Northbridge on April 19, 1775, it is as well known for the Transcendentalists. This remarkable group of writers and philosophers who lived and worked here included writers Ralph Waldo Emerson, Louisa May Alcott, and Henry David Thoreau, and they created some of their most famous works here. You can visit the Alcott's Orchard House, preserved in its original state, where Louisa set her semi-autobiographical novel Little Women. Walden Pond, immortalized in Henry David Thoreau's writings, is part of a 411-acre nature preserve with a replica of his cabin. Number 3 Salem and Cape Ann North of Boston, and less visited than Cape Cod, Cape Ann is known for the picturesque fishing harbor at Rockport, and the working port of Gloucester. But in the no travelers come here for its beautiful and uncrowded beaches, its thriving art colonies, and the idyllic little towns of antique-filled historic homes. Salem was the hub of the China trade, and once one of the major ports on the East Coast, and its streets today are still lined by stately homes built for sea captains and prosperous merchants. It has literary connections as the birthplace and home of Nathaniel Hawthorne, and the added historic appeal of the infamous Salem Witch Trials, a grim history that Salem has turned into several tourist attractions. Number 2 Cape Cod, Nantucket, and Martha's Vineyard Reaching out into the Atlantic south of Boston, Cape Cod is the city's summer playground, with miles and miles of white sand beaches and picturesque towns filled with tourist attractions and amusements. For active travelers, the Cape offers sailing, fishing, kayaking, swimming, and miles of cycling and walking trails. Nature lovers find bird-filled salt marshes, and whales to watch in the nearby waters of Selwyn Banks. The seafood is legendary, and in the fall, entire landscapes are red with cranberries, South of Cape Cod and easy to reach by ferries, Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard add more beaches and the relaxed pace of island life. As the song says, you're sure to fall in love with old Cape Cod. Number 1 Boston and Cambridge From the Brahmin Bastion of Beacon Hill and the historic sites of the famed Freedom Trail, to the vibrant student life across the river and Cambridge's Harvard Square, the hub has something for everyone. Whether your passion is fine art, ethnic neighborhoods, Americana, antiques, seafood, modern architecture, black history, music, the revolution, technology, bookstores, boats, brownstones, or baked beans, you'll find it here. Boston's tourist attractions are for all ages, too, with plenty to keep children busy, an aquarium with seals and dolphins, an exceptional science museum, swan boats to ride, a public wading pool, and an entire museum dedicated just to the under 10 set. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.